The truth about actress Ku Hai Sun. Ku Hai Sun, born November 9, 1984, is a South Korean actress, singer-songwriter, director and artist. She gained mainstream recognition in the television dramas Pure in Heart, 2006, The King and I, 2007, Boys Over Flowers, 2009, Angel Eyes, 2014, and Blood, 2015. Early Life Ku Hai Sun's family consists of her mother, father, and one older sister. While growing up, Ku initially dreamed of becoming a singer. She eventually formed a vocal band with college friends, but due to her gaining popularity through the Internet as a model she put those goals on hold. Career As actress, Ku Hai Sun entered the entertainment industry after gaining popularity on the Internet as an Elzang. She used to be a trainee under SM Entertainment before switching over to DSP Media and preparing to debut in a girl group called Rhea. But after it didn't work out she then signed under YG Entertainment, her management from debut until now. Originally set to debut as a singer, supposedly in a three-member girl group with two NE1's Park Bom and Sandara Park, too, YG Entertainment CEO Yang Hyun Suk advised Ku to pursue acting rather than music. She made her debut in a CF for Sambo Computers and then made her television debut in the KBS horror series Anagram, and continued to appear in one-act dramas. Her performance as Hai Jen in the 2004 MBC sitcom Nonstop 5 attracted the audience's attention. In December 2008, Ku soon rose to fame in the 2006 television drama Pure in Heart and surprised critics with her performance in the historical drama The King and I. She is most well known for portraying Jiang Jandi in the mega-hit KBS2 drama Boys Over Flowers opposite Lee Min Ho, which was her breakthrough role and gained her Pan-Asia popularity. After a year in limbo with no broadcasting slot, her first pre-produced drama The Musical finally aired in September 2011 Ku next starred as a female pilot in the SBS series Take Care of Us, Captain followed by Absolute Darling, the Taiwanese drama adaptation of the manga Absolute Boyfriend. After two years' break from acting career, Ku appears in the MBC Channel's two-part documentary drama Hyo Na Chil Heen. She took part in the program's narration and production as well. Ku then made a small screen comeback acting in SBS's Angel Eyes in 2014. She portrayed the role of Yoon Soon Wen, a legally blind woman who gets her vision back in an operation and decides to embrace life with passion by becoming an emergency rescue worker. On September 2014, TVXQ's Changman and Ku appeared in Beat Burger's music video She's So High. In February 2015, Ku starred in KBS drama Blood. She plays the character Urai Ta, an arrogant genius physician who entered medical school at a young age of 17. Ku and the lead actor of the drama, On Jae Hyun shot footage in Romania for this drama. Although Blood suffered low ratings in Korea where Ku is criticized for her bad acting, the drama was well received internationally. On November 6, 2015, Ku was confirmed to be starring in a Chinese drama, The Legendary Tycoon alongside Hans Zhang and Zhou Chen. The Legendary Tycoon tells the life story of Run Run Shaw, a self-made entertainment mogul from Hong Kong. Ku will be starring in the upcoming MBC weekend drama You're Too Much alongside Elm Jung Hua. As singer-songwriter, in recent years, Ku has displayed her vocal talents through soundtrack releases as well as digital singles. In 2005, she released her first single Happy Birthday to You for Non-Stop 5. In 2006, she released the track Sarung Ga, Love Story, which became the title song of Pure in Heart. In 2012, Ku released her first self-composed soundtrack, titled Fly Again for SBS's Take Care of Us, Captain which she stars in. In July 2009, Ku released her first album Breath in 2009, an album of New Age music which included her composed song for her friend and singer, Gummy, entitled Around the Alley. She then released her self-composed and written digital single Brown Hair in 2010, with the music rearranged by Bossa Nova pianist Choi and Young in 2012, Ku released its You and its music video. She not only wrote the music and lyrics of its You, but also filmed and edited the music video. In 2014, Ku released her fifth digital single Happy, which is also a remake to Seal and Guck's song Were We Happy. Throughout the years, 
Ku composed and released numerous singles. In 2015, she released a second album titled Breath 2, which serves as a follow-up to her 2009 album Breath. The title track after 10 years 100 years is a remake of the OST from the film The Peach Tree. On April 29, 2015, Ku's piano piece Rain topped the QQ Music Chart, China's largest search engine. Released six years previously, the song gained attention due to the attention given to Ku's drama Blood. In 2016, Ku released the song Written and Erased, which is a collaboration song of Ku with the Blind. On April 28, she released her first regular album in spring that consists of 11 tracks including her singles Stupid, Brown Hair, and It's You. As director, Ku made her official debut as a director through her short film The Madonna. The film which was centered around the topic of assisted suicide, debuted at the 2009 Pachin International Fantastic Film Festival. The film was featured in several film events, including the Asiana International Short Film Festival and the Pusan Asian Short Film Festival where it won Audience Award category. The Madonna also won the Spotlight Award at the 12th Short Shorts Film Festival which was held in Tokyo from June 10 through 20, 2010. She shared that the reason of herself making film was it's not like I dreamed of becoming a filmmaker since I was young. I'm interested in many things, including music, art and literature, and I thought I could incorporate all those things by making a film. The following year, Ku directed her first feature-length film Magic. The film was invited and screened at the 6th Jekin International Music and Film Festival, JIMFF, from August 12 to 17, 2010 and the 23rd Annual Tokyo International Film Festival. She continued directing short films such as You, 2010, Fragments of Sweet Memories, 2012, as well as trailers for film festivals. The 3D short film Fragment of Sweet Memories, which features actor U.S.C. Yuan Ji Ho, is a story about reminiscing over life's treasured moments from the past. It was selected as one of Korea's outstanding 3D films and was shown at the Cine Mountain in Busan Cinema Center during the International 3D Festival, I3DF, which Ku serves as the Goodwill Ambassador of. The film was also selected as a finalist for the Seoul Senior Film Festival, and received citation from the Mayor Park Won Soon. In 2011, Ku established her own company, Ku Hai Sun Film, under which she would produce and film her projects. Her second directorial feature The Peach Tree was the first film made under her newly established production company. She also wrote the theme song and novel version of the film. On October 25, 2012, she was awarded the Minister Commendation at the 14th Annual Republic of Korea Design Award for The Peach Tree. In 2014, Ku announced and released her fifth directed film, Daughter. Not only did she take part in producing, script writing and directing of the movie, she also plays the main character as a mother who gives her daughter an oppressive corporal punishment. The film aims to address and make known to society the problems of child abuse. Daughter was invited to Busan International Film Festival. As artist and ambassador, aside from her acting and directional works, Ku participates in a wide range of projects, including writing and drawing as well as ambassador activities. In recognition of her versatility and talents, who was voted as the best female artist in the entertainment industry in 2012. She also received the Korea Fulfillment Award and the Ministry Award for Sharing Happiness for her charitable acts. In May 2013, in 2009, Ku published her first illustrated novel Tango, centered around a 20-something young girl who goes through two separate relationships to finally mature into a woman. The book was a bestseller, selling 30,000 copies within a week. Its release coincided with her first solo art exhibition, also titled Tango which was held in July 2009 at La Mer Gallery and attracted a total of 10,000 visitors. The exhibition featured around 40 of Ku's illustrations, some from her novel she has also done artwork for Gummy's fourth album Comfort. On 18th to 24th September 2012, she held her second solo art exhibition titled After Image at the Hangarum Design Art Center in the Seoul Art Center showcasing 120 of her art pieces, then donating all proceeds from the sale of her artwork toward purchasing clean cars, germ-free automobiles, for the Korea Leukemia Patient Group in 2013, 
she was more focused on her artworks. On 17-31 August 2013, she held exhibition entitled Anything That Leaves Yearning Is All Beautiful where she presents around 20 pieces of art in the same year. Ku attended the Hong Kong Contemporary Art Fair, where she once again showcased her artworks. The After Image exhibition also held on 9-27 October 2013 in Harbour City Gallery in Hong Kong, as an invitation of Moon Gallery. The illustration poster of her cat Mango will be sold at this exhibition, where the profit will be donated to charity organization Community Chest Hong Kong Ku then appointed as the 2013 Xiangju International Craft Biennale. CICB, Ambassador for Her Artistic Talents Recognition, as well as the Ambassador for Artistry, an organization to encourage arts. On September 9 to October 11, 2016, she was participated on DMC Festival 2016 where she showed off her paintings entitled Dark Yellow. Ku also participates in some campaign projects. In 2012, she participated in the Big Smile Project a campaign to spread hope through smiles. She has also directed a trailer for 14th Persons with Disabilities Film Festival, PDFF, in which she used sign language to show that people born with disabilities do not differ from normal people in needing love. This is a demo of voice text TTS. In 2013, Ku participated and supported the Grey Ribbon Campaign, which was organized by Myra Welfare Foundation to promote disability awareness. In 2015, Ku alongside with her dog, Gamja, supported Yellow Lead campaign which aims to reduce the number of abandoned dogs. Another Ku's activity was starring and narrating documentary films. In 2012, she lent her voice as the narrator for SBS documentary The Hospice for the Children Who Live for Today. Then in 2013, she participated as guest star in MBC documentary Prime on the episode I Love Wood where the film talked about the benefit of woods in South Korea and how Ku loves to use wood in her art projects. In 2014, she also became the narrator of KBS One documentary Miracles in December in the episode Angel Bread. Then she was acted for the first time in documentary film as Heo Nanchiel and became the narrator of the film, in the same year. The film received the Platinum Remy and Biographical category on World Fest Houston International Film Festival and Gender Equality Grand Prize from the Ministry of Family and Gender Equality. In September 2016, she also became the narrator of KBS2 documentary Rookie Season 2, where the first season narrated by Yoon Shiyun. Personal Life On March 11, 2016, Ku was confirmed to be dating her Blood co-star Ahn Jae Hyun since April 2015. The couple officially registered their marriage at the Gangnam District Office on May 20, 2016. They announced that instead of holding a wedding party, they would donate the money to the pediatric ward of Severance Hospital. The pair is confirmed to be appearing in the upcoming reality show Newlywed Diary produced by Na Young Shak, which will showcase their married life. The Truth About Actress Ku Hai Sun Koo Hai Sun, born November 9, 1984, is a South Korean actress, singer-songwriter, director and artist. She gained mainstream recognition in the television dramas Pure in Heart, 2006, The King and I, 2007, Boys Over Flowers, 2009, Angel Eyes, 2014, and Blood, 2015. Early life, Koo Hai Sun's family consists of her mother, father, and one older sister. While growing up, Ku initially dreamed of becoming a singer. She eventually formed a vocal band with college friends, but due to her gaining popularity through the internet as a model she put those goals on hold. Career As actress, Ku Hai Sun entered the entertainment industry after gaining popularity on the internet as an Elzang. She used to be a trainee under SM Entertainment, before switching over to D and continued to appear in one-act dramas. Her performance as Hai Jin in the 2004 MBC sitcom Nonstop 5 attracted the audience's attention. In December 2008, Koo soon rose to fame in the 2006 television drama Pure in Heart and surprised critics with her performance in the historical drama The King and I. She is most well known for portraying Jim Jandi in the mega-hit KBS 2 drama Boys Over Flowers opposite Lee Min Ho, which was her breakthrough role and gained her pan-Asia popularity. 
After a year in limbo with no broadcasting slot, her first pre-produced drama The Musical finally aired in September 2011. Ku next starred as a female pilot in the SBS series Take Care of Us, Captain followed by Absolute Darling, the Taiwanese drama adaptation of the manga Absolute Boyfriend. After two years' break from acting career, Ku appears in the NBC Channel's two-part documentary drama Hyo Na Chil Heen. She took part in the program's narration and production as well. ESP Media and preparing to debut in a girl group called Ria. But after it didn't work out she then signed under YG Entertainment, her management from debut until now. Originally set to debut as a singer, supposedly in a three-member girl group with two NE1's Park Bomb and Sandara Park, too. YG Entertainment CEO Yang Hyun Suk advised Ku to pursue acting rather than music. She made her debut in a CF for Sambo Computers and then made her television debut in the KBS horror series Anagram 